Sanctuary is the 30th episode of the American science fiction television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, the 10th episode of the second season. Displaced humanoids from the Gamma Quadrant claim Barja as their home. Plot A damaged vessel comes through the wormhole and its passengers are transported aboard Deep Space Nine. They are from a race called the Screers, but their language is difficult for the universal translator to understand and thus takes an inordinate amount of time to study it and create an adequate translation matrix. However, they seem to trust Kira, who escorts them around the station. The female Skria and her three companions have a hard time adjusting to rules and regulations at first, but the universal translator eventually translates their language and enables them to communicate. The female reveals that her name is Hanik and her people's homeworld was conquered by a species called the T. Rigorans, who were, in turn, conquered by the Dominion. Sisko promises to help Hanik and her people find a new homeland, and when several more Skrian ships come through the wormhole, they are welcomed warmly. Kira buys a dress for Hanik that Hanik seemed to be admiring when the Universal Translator was not yet functioning. However, Hanik admits that Kira mistakenly thought that she admired it. The two laugh and appear to become friends. As more and more Screens arrive on the station, Hanik begins to fear that she will not find Kentana, the Screens' long-sought homeworld. However, the Screen leaders decide that Baja is the Kentana they seek. Sisko suggests a nearby planet, Draylon II, as a reasonable alternative, but the Screens are adamant in their decision. They meet with representatives of the Bajoran government, who refuse to allow them to relocate there, a famine is spreading, and the Bajoran government does not believe it can support the Screen population. Tumak, Hanik's son, takes one of the Screen ships and heads to Baja. At Siskar's request, Hanik tries to convince him to disengage his engines because the ship has a dangerous radiation leak. Two Bajoran vessels approach him and also try to get him to shut down his engines, so they can tow him to safety. However, Tumak refuses to shut down his engines. A firefight ensues, resulting in the destruction of Tumak's ship due to the radiation leak. The Bajoran government stays with its decision to refuse asylum, so the Screens have no choice but to move to Draylon II after all. Heard over her son's death and angry with the Bajorans, Hanik's final words to Kira are bitter. She reminds Kira that the Screens were farmers, and could have helped Baja overcome the famine. Hanik then leaves with her people. Notes This episode marks the second time that the Dominion is referenced, and the first time the Federation hears it. Andrew Koenig was the real-life son of Walter Koenig, who played Pavel Chekhov in Star Trek, the original series and the first seven Star Trek films. <laughs>